Hey guys, so today Atomos just announced the brand new monitor, the Shinobi, a glorious 4K 10-bit HDR monitor. So pretty. So as you can see, it is a five inch monitor with touchscreen capabilities. Uh, you have several options right here in the bottom, just like uh, the Ninja, Flame, and Shogun. You have your histograms, you have your RGB parade, you even have vector scopes, you got zebras, you got false colors, and you got this really cool feature called blue only exposure so that you can see just the noise in a given image. That's incredibly helpful to see if your image is noisy or not. I know the monitors on cameras aren't the best, especially with Sony cameras. They're just not that good. Even the EVFs, they're, they're not the best best because they're super tiny and so to see just the noise on a big screen just like this is really helpful so that you can dial in the right exposure for your image pretty cool we got the safe area guide the aspect ratios and an anamorphic de-squeeze feature so that if you are shooting with an anamorphic lens it'll de-squeeze your image so that you can see it properly on the screen and of course you have the other features like the one-to-one -one zoom the two times zoom the four times zoom to make sure that you are focused why must you hate me so much on the top and bottom of the monitor are quarter inch screws so that you can mount this monitor to pretty much anywhere. Over here for my setup, I've mounted the, the Shinobi to a multi-friction arm. On the back of the monitor is a single slot battery and you can power up these bad boys by using those Sony NP style batteries. Obviously, the bigger battery you have, the longer the monitor will last. If you have a 26 milliamp battery, the monitor should last about two hours. And if you put a 5200 milliamp battery, the monitor should last about four hours. The Shinobi does come with a battery adapter that you can connect to an outlet. So if you are recording in a studio setting like an interview or a YouTube monologue, you don't have to worry about power running out on the Shinobi. Also on the back of the monitor is the power button, so push it to turn it on and press and hold for four seconds to turn it off. On the side of the monitor is an HDMI input so you can connect your camera onto the monitor. And just so you know, the HDMI port supports 4K up to 30 frames a second. On the other side of the monitor is a remote port so that you can calibrate your monitor using one of those X-Rite thingies. But also, the Shinobi has an SD card slot so that you can load in your LUTs as well as update the firmware of the monitor. Pretty cool. So one thing I forgot to mention is that the Shinobi takes in different picture profiles no matter what kind of camera you use, whether it's Panasonic, Fuji, Canon, or Sony. So for example, I'm shooting with a Sony a6400 in hybrid log gamma. And so for the input selection for picture profiles, I select hybrid log gamma. And the color space that I use on this camera is Rec. 709. I choose Rec. 709 on the monitor. And now the Shinobi is displaying an accurate image of what I'm filming with this camera. So now we're gonna do a brightness test and I've taken the Shinobu out on top of this uh, parking garage and it's about midday so it's the perfect conditions to test how bright this monitor is. The monitor itself has a thousand nit brightness so we should be able to see some pretty clear images so let's check it out. So let me emphasize, the Shinobi is not a video recorder. It is simply just an on-field monitor. We all know that Atomos is famous for other video recorders. You got the Shogun, you got the Ninja, you have the Flame. And so to add to that line, we now have a Shinobi, which is an amazing on-field monitor that has pretty much the same monitor features as its older brothers. A lot of us don't really need video recorders. In fact, a vast majority of people that I know simply want a monitor that has an accurate display. I've used a lot of cheaper monitors, and even though they're great for reference, the colors and exposure that come out of those monitors aren't very good or accurate and I have to adjust according to what I see on the monitor and by doing so, I've totally screwed up my shot. But now, Atomos has the Shinobi, which is an incredible option for those of you that just want a really good monitor. I really love how simple this thing is to use. I mean, the touchscreen operations is pretty intuitive. It's well built, it's incredibly light. It has a really simple design, which I really like and after using it for a couple of days, it's definitely been one of my favorite monitors ever. The Shinobi retails at $399 and if you want to check it out then make sure to click the link below oh okay i gotta get out of here there's so much noise i can't do my youtubes if there's so much noise okay i've been squatting for far too long and i'm getting all the tingles all right i'm out of here thanks Atomos, for sending me this i love it it's really cool check it out too all right see you later right now right now is the right time